stay in the boat till we secure the deck. Over. Roger that. Squad on me. Stairs clear. You've been watching a popular PC game demo. So what's new? What if I told you that the game was being played on this little PC? Let me introduce Tango. Tango is the world's most powerful, officeable, gameable, dockable, gameable and entertainable PC. Hello TechCrunch, my name is Bhavesha and I'm the CTO and founder of Tango Tech. Let's see how Tango can completely change the way we use and carry PCs. Tango has a computing power. The clicker doesn't work if you can. Tango has a computing power as that of a mainstream PC. You can run your office applications, CAD applications, and PC games with mid-core gaming performance. With these $89 docking stations, which you can put at your office desk, home desk, and next to your TV, you can connect Tango to the rest of the peripherals at a given place. My colleague Yash will now share his experience. Hello, TechCrunch. My name is Yash Patel, a graduate student at Harvard University. Being a tech guy, I have a personal desktop a desktop at my Harvard lab, and another desktop at the Tango offices. I also have a gaming console wired to my TV for playing games and watching movies. That's a lot of hardware clutter. It's a pain in the butt to upgrade the software across all these devices. I even I ended up with many licenses for the same applications and the same games. Life sucks when you need an application that's on another computer. On another note, I noticed that the gaming console browsers tend to be excruciatingly slow when browsing for movies and TV shows. Today, Tango solves all these problems. By replacing all your PCs and gaming consoles with $89 docking stations, I no longer need many devices. I can carry Tango in my pocket and, have, and simply connect it to any dock to gain instant access to all my files, all my applications, and all my games. Tango truly keeps me hands-free and hassle-free. So, Tango can save you money on hardware by replacing multiple PCs and gaming consoles with inexpensive docking stations. Tango can save you money on software because you don't need additional software licenses. But most importantly, Tango gives you mobility that's hands-free and hassle-free. Tango does to PCs what iPod did to music 13 years ago. So how can we convert a PC that looks like this into something as small as this? First, we took the bulky connectors, the bulky fan, and the bulky heatsink and placed them into a docking station. Then, we took the motherboard, miniaturized it, and packed it into this small PC. We ensure Tango to be user upgradable. Simply open two screws and place in, place an in, uh, eight gig hard drive, place an eight gig RAM and a terabyte of hard drive. The standard components off the shelf. It's that simple. A device of this size gives three watts of performance. Tango gives 30 watts. That's 10 times the performance. For the first time, through our patent pending technology, we have been able to outsource the cooling job to the docking station. That's why Tango is fanless, ventless, and weighs mere 200 grams. We have been working on this technology for over two years now and have a relationship with the world top 10 ODM to deliver a reliable product in volumes. But what does it all mean to the market? There are 150 million desktops sold every year. There are 140 million 
Xbox 360 and, and PS3 gaming consoles out there. And the PC gaming platform has been doubling every year for the last three years at over a hundred million units. So our market size is multi-billion dollars. We have relationship with Best Buy and Amazon and other large retailers whom we'll partner to distribute the product. But there's more. Enterprises worldwide, enterprises worldwide are moving towards something called BYOD, bring your own device. Tango not only is a perfect fit for a BYOD segment, but through some disruptive innovations under the covers, can actually reduce the total cost of ownership of enterprise PCs even below that of virtual desktops. We will be launching a Kickstarter campaign this weekend. Do not forget to reserve your Tango system. Every early bird will receive a free Tango system in the future. For more information and details, please visit tangopc.com. Thank you. All right. Judges? All right, can't I do all of, all of those use cases with this and with Netflix and OnLive and Google Apps and uh, my Photoshop online and all that kind of stuff? Why do, I, why do I need this device as well next to this one? You can definitely use this. Um, the Windows platform needs a lot more performance than non-Windows platforms. Um, a two gigahertz on this device is not the same as two gigahertz on a Windows device. So when you are using Windows, you're using office applications, you're using point of sale applications, you're an automotive dealer is using his application and the restaurant guy is using his application and the accountant is using his application and the lawyer is using his application. For those kinds of things, people would need Windows and they are using Windows. And these are add-on devices. Tango is a replacement for desktop PCs. So building off of that question, you mentioned both Best Buy and enterprise opportunities, but do you see the larger market opportunity being with the enterprise? Um, we are going to consumer market because we are small and we found a great interest. We have raised $300,000 in past through crowdfunding campaign and we found a great interest in Tango in consumer market. So we thought that if Apple went by selling iPads to consumers and then went to enterprise, probably we could do too. Can I ask you a little bit more about the consumer um, interest? So what kind of customer development have you done to kind of qualify that this is a problem that users think they have? Um, we, de we ran many market surveys before actually building the prototypes. Uh, we, we found that when we showed the picture of the product, 64% of random internet users were actually interested in knowing more about it. And that's a phenomenal interest rate. I mean, not everybody said eventually that we will buy it or not, but the interest rate was so much with just the picture that we knew that it will grab the consumer market. And so just to answer the question, the, it was 80 something dollars for the device? 89 dollars for the docking station. And, yeah. and what for the, for this? For the whole device? system? The whole system is very aggressively priced uh, at 299 dollars uh, for a bare bones system. As Yash said, um, the memory and the SSD and the operating system, they are all user configurable. So open the two screws and put your RAM your SSD and your operating system. We definitely will provide the pre-configured systems um, for a proper operating system and a particular memory in this. And Sergeant, keep asking questions of that. Um, when you say just simply unscrew two bot, uh, screws, that doesn't sound super user friendly for me, but uh, the 299, is that built in a margin or do you, is that like cost or do you make a margin on that? We are gross margin positive from day one. Cool. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the docking station? I didn't understand. Is the main processor on the device or on the docking station? The main processor, the memory, and the SSD, and the motherboard are on the device. So it's a complete PC by itself. And so how, how are you able to, um, uh, to extract uh, the, the cooling system outside of it? That is our patent pending technology. We had to actually resort to some real space science there. Um, in space, there are no fans. Um, you can't cool things uh, by fans. And we took that uh, little piece of technology and applied it to consumer market. 
um, we actually move the heat from the device into the docking station where we have a good fan and a good heat sink uh, to cool things off because it's a 30 watt device. I mean if you look at your laptop, your laptop is, um, is, is about the same wattage uh, plus the display and the, and the hard disk uh, which is a spinning hard disk which takes a little more but that's about the same power if you're comparing Apple to Apple. I think the, the technology you've built is no doubt very, very impressive and I'm not 